Hi, this is Manish. Today I'm going to discuss about Informatica Scheduler. So, what is uh, in Informatica Scheduling Tool? Is it out of box? Informatica gives uh, that leverage to use that? My answer is yeah. yes. Informatica has default scheduler, so you can use it to uh, schedule your job on the daily basis, on weekly basis, on on hourly basis. So today uh, we, we think it's very difficult topic to discuss, but that's that is not the case. Informatica scheduler is very simple to use, and uh, it, it, you don't need to write a, a number of codes to run the schedule to schedule your job. So let me uh, start with a simple. Uh, uh, what we'll do, we'll schedule one workflow, a simple workflow, and we'll check whether it's working or not, and how to schedule, and what are the informations available in Informatica. So, for scheduling, you don't need to go to a designer, a monitor, or anything. Go to workflow. So, connect. So, you can try with any of your job. You can schedule and you can check whether it's working or not so definitely it will work for you also now mm, I have this workflow already available so what this workflow does it loads uh, data into this table so first let me check okay so this is a blank table so what I'm gonna do here is I will schedule this workflow and we'll check whether this is working or not so how to do that so this is the workflow go to workflow edit option so in that tab you will see the scheduler so there are two options it's a non reusable or reusable so what what kind of uh, schedule you we will you're gonna use here so that depends like if you want to reuse it in some other workflow also so you can make it reusable but if if you don't want to make it reusable you can uh, make it non reusable so there you will get option so by default you will you can see here it's a run on demand so whenever you will click uh, right click and run it will run so it 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 on demands it is a manual process okay go to uh, click on this um, clock scheduler uh, symbol go to schedule so here you can see a uh, multiple options are there so when this is checked the other options are disabled you cannot do here anything it's disabled but when you click on run on integration service initialization which we are going to use now so you will see all the info all the informations are available so you can do anything the run once uh, run every day or hour or minute or customize repeat so what is this customizer paid you can give like uh, how many days monday tuesday any day okay so uh, so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to schedule it for uh, for three minutes so two minutes okay and uh, here you will see options like uh, end options so when you want to end your patch process so here you can give a date in which date you want to stop all or everything the schedule will stop you want to finish it on which day and after how many runs after how many runs you want to end this job and for forever means it will uh, run forever so uh, I'm clicking this forever option okay so when the start option means when it will start it will start on, on th 30 of 12 and start time is 929 it's okay so um, okay uh, now apply it click ok so here you can see ops properties and value options so the run option is 
this run every minute so to start it should be this start time run forever apply it now what next you have to do it will not run automatically you have to schedule by right clicking here so right click here schedule your workflow so you can see a uh, error message here error workflow cannot schedule run on the one so you have to save your uh, whenever you will do or uh, make some changes you have to save it so because of that I got that error now you can see there is no error so it is scheduled and it will run at 10 11 okay so this is the folder okay so you can see after uh, two minutes it will it will start it will run uh, that job So every so you can set anything like a day or weekdays or weekends or monthly or weekly hourly minutes so it will work but what you have to do when you will select these options you have to schedule it otherwise it will not uh, execute itself so first time you have to execute you have to schedule this this and then it will run forever so this is one tricky thing in this and people they most of the people they don't know how to do that and they struggle a few days i also struggled when i start when i did first time So you can see here uh, this job has ran this go to you can see so thank you for watching this video please subscribe thanks